Welcome to this tutorial. You've successfully created a free account with Weebly, and now you need to set up your ePortfolio with SLCC's required outline that is described in the ePortfolio Student Handbook. Right now, your site has only one page, the home page. You'll need to add other pages that will show up in the ePortfolio navigation along here. Add a new web page with the Pages tab up here. Click on New Page, give the new page a name, and make sure that the page will show in the ePortfolio's navigation. I want this page to say My Goals. I want to make sure it shows up in the navigation and click Save. Alright, there it is. Let's add another new page, and we'll call it General Education. It shows up in the navigation, yes, and hit Save. We'll add another new page called Learning Outside the Classroom. It shows up in navigation by default. Click Save. And we want a final page to say Resume. That shows up in the navigation. Okay, because we have more pages than we have space, the extra ones are going to show up here. Now let's go to Pages, and I, I would like this front section to say Welcome instead of Home. Okay. Now let's uh, click Publish, and those uh, changes are now live on your, on your web page. This is a good time to pick a design for your site. Click on the Designs tab. Weebly has many different designs to choose from. Just hover your mouse over one of the designs and Weebly will show you what it would look like. If the design has a photo on it, like this one, you will be able to replace that photo with one of your own. Go ahead and pick a design now by clicking on the one you want. I have a preference for designs that have white backgrounds and black or dark text. You can change your design later if you'd like. And if you scroll along here, you can see that there are many different designs. I think Lisa might like, let's see. Yeah, she might like that one. See, so now all your navigation headings fit on there. All right, so all I have to do is click on it, and it's it's been applied. So you've set up your outline for your ePortfolio, and you've picked a design. 